Progress Developer Studio for OpenEdge is an Eclipse-based OpenEdge development environment that is used to create, test, debug, and deploy OpenEdge ABL applications. This video explains how to set up an ABL development environment, import and create projects and application files, create new projects, and copy code files from an existing project to the new project. Two sample projects are used in this video to demonstrate the tasks. CustomerApp.zip explains the import functions. Demo files contains the project files used to explain features of Developer Studio. Let's start the demo. When you start Progress Developer Studio for OpenEdge the first time, you need to specify a workspace location. A workspace is a folder in your file system where all your development project files reside. Each workspace is used by a single developer. Best practice is to store all project files in the workspace folder. Specify the location for the new workspace. If you want to share the projects and files in your workspace with another developer, you can later export them from the workspace. Once the workspace location is specified, the welcome page appears. Click Workbench to open the workspace. The new workspace appears and is ready for use. The initial window that appears is the OpenEdge Editor Perspective. This perspective consists of a set of views and an editor area used to work on projects. You can customize the workspace by adding and removing views and changing the layout of the perspective. The OpenEdge Editor can also be customized. For example, a development team may decide to standardize on specifying AVL keywords in lower case. To customize how the OpenEdge Editor works in a workspace, open the Workspace Preferences and navigate to the Progress OpenEdge Editor settings. To specify lower case, select Lower, and then select both Case Keywords and apply keyword casing on save. As you can see, there are several other settings that can be customized. For example, selecting expand keywords sets the OpenEdge editor to automatically expand keywords as you type. Another useful group of settings enables syntax checking features. To use this feature, choose the build settings page for the editor. Build settings control what types of files are built and what happens when they are built. These settings customize what happens when ABL code is saved. Select Compile on Save if required, select all the syntax checking settings, and increase the number of errors displayed when the application compiles to 200 times. Displaying line numbers makes it easier to communicate with other developers and helps when debugging code. To use this setting, navigate to the General, Editors, in the Preferences window and select Text Editors. Then check Show Line Numbers. Click Apply and Close to save the preferences and close the window. The Import feature allows developers to reuse code. A project must be exported before it can be imported into a new workspace. To import a project into a workspace, select Import from the file menu. Navigate to General and select Existing Projects into Workspace. Click Next. The best way to export and import a project is to use a zip file. To import a zip file, choose Select Archive File and browse to locate the zip file. Select the Customer App Project Archive File to import into the workspace. Select Finish to perform the import. After the import completes, the new Customer App project appears in the Project Explorer view. The project has two folders, R code, which contains compiled code, and source, which contains the source code. By default, compiled code, known as R code, is not displayed since developers typically don't work with these files during project development. However, as with other areas of Developer Studio, you can customize which file types are displayed based on the file extension. To see the compile code in the Project Explorer, select Filters and Customization and uncheck the filter for files with an R extension. 
The console view displays a message that an ABL virtual machine, or AVM, has started for this project. An AVM is the compile and runtime environment for ABL code. By default, every OpenEdge project in a workspace uses its own AVM. When importing projects, the R code gets imported to the source folder. There is a chance that different versions of projects will have R code compatibility issues. To resolve these issues, recompile the application whenever you import a project into a new workspace. One way to do this is by cleaning your workspace, which compiles all code in the workspace. Directories and files within a directory that have errors are noted by a red X. The Problems view displays workspace messages that are grouped by errors, warnings, and information. Hover over the error to get detailed information about the possible cause of the error. Double-click the error. The file containing the error opens in the ABL editor, highlighting the line that has the error. A red X marker is also displayed on the line. In the example, a period is missing from the ABL statement. All ABL statements must end with a period. After correcting the error, save the source file. Based on the preferences set earlier, the Developer Studio automatically compiles the code. If the error was successfully fixed, the red X no longer appears. Let's create an OpenEdge project from scratch. Click File, New, OpenEdge Project. The Create OpenEdge Project wizard appears with the name of the project. In this example, the name of the project is WinForms. If the Server tab is selected, a Paths for OpenEdge application can be created with the APSV, Web, or REST transport options. If the Client tab is selected, GUI for .NET, App Builder, Character UI, and Web UI applications can be created. Use the General tab to create basic OpenEdge, AVL unit, and custom projects. Select General, OpenEdge Basic, to create an OpenEdge application. This option provides all the support required for the demo application. Click Next. To use Source and R code for top level project folder names, select Use Separate Source and R code directories in the Project Layout section. Click Finish to create the project. The newly created project appears in the Project Explorer view. Notice the WinForms project with the top level folders R code and Source. You can also create subfolders under Source to organize your application code. In this example, GUI and adapter folders are created under the Source folder. Do not create subfolders under the R code folder, as they are created automatically when you compile your code based on the directories in the Source folder. To add existing Source files to a project, use Window Explorer to drag and drop files from the Window File System to the appropriate project folders. In this example, an ABL class file is added to the adapter folder. Best practice is to copy files into your projects rather than to link them. Add an ABL form class file along with its resources to the GUI folder and add the assemblies.xml file to the project. Add an ABL procedure file to the top level source folder. After adding these files to the WinForms project, errors appear in the problems view. The errors you see when you copy files into your projects could be related to the order in which the files were copied. Best practice is to clean your workspace each time you copy a set of files into your workspace. This completes our look at the OpenEdge Getting Started for Progress Developer Studios for OpenEdge Part 1. You've seen how to set up an ABL development environment, import and create projects and application files, and copy code files from an existing project to a new project. To learn more about the OpenEdge Editor and other features of the Progress Developer Studio with OpenEdge, watch Getting Started with Progress Developer Studio for OpenEdge Part 2.